I use tone at the gigs because it makes my voice project really well above the band. Uh, it basically controls my dynamics, so the loud parts aren't too loud, the quiet parts are brought up in level so the audience can hear them, and also it makes my voice brighter and it really cuts through above the band. Well, the cool thing about Create XT is it's got the tone button. It's the tone button. It's just one button and it does all that activation, just like that. Well, on Create XT, you can fix all that by using the mix knob. You start with it in the 12 o'clock position. And if you're in, say, a living room or something like that, where you want more reverb and delay, you turn that up. And all your presets will now reflect that little bit of added reverb and delay. Or if you're in a big echoey hall or something like that, turn it down a little bit so all your presets are a little bit drier. Simple as that. A great place to start is by using the style knob to search for your style of music. Here's rock, metal. And when you get to that, we've got a great sound there waiting for you. But you can go further because there's 10 variations of that when you press and hold this button. You've got 10 variations of, for example, rock and metal effects in there. When you're finished, press and hold, and you're done. When you listen to the radio, all the songs you listen to have tons of vocal effects. And we've put all those classic effects in Create XT. So basically, you turn them on and off here. There's four effect blocks. Reverb, which is of course the sort of hall sound to your voice or room sound. And then we have the delay, which is also called echo. And you can control the time of the echo by pressing and holding the on button and then um, tapping it in time with the beats of your song. And then there's the micromod effect, which creates like flanges and choruses and uh, cool modulation effects. And then there's the effects button, which allows you to get the megaphone sound and also the infamous sort of hard tune sound like T-Pain and Kanye West. And you can totally combine the blocks to define your sound by turning them on and off. And when you, you know, sing through it and listen to it, you might want a little bit of that, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. It's all real easy. So one day you're going to want to get beyond the presets and styles in Create XT. And we allow that as well with the tweak section. Basically, there's a knob and a button, the tweak button and the tweak knob that allow you to edit the sounds to your liking. So press the tweak button to select which parameter you want to adjust and turn the tweak knob. So balance allows you to adjust the individual levels of the effects. The next one, reverb, allows you to control how long or short the reverb is, either a concert hall, for example, or a room. Uh, delay allows you to set either the time of the delay or the number of repeats, depending on which style is located. Micromod allows you to set either the detune or the modulation speed depending, of course, uh, on what style you've got loaded. And then effects allows you to set either the gender or the distortion level. So when you're on stage with a vocal processor, the last thing you want is only to have an on-off or have to go up and down through 50 presets to find which one you want. Create XT has 10 presets, nice and easy. And each preset has two settings, A and B. And if you want to, you can go up and down through the presets by holding the part A, B button like this. Nice and easy. You're cycling around through 10 presets. And when you land on one, say your song has a different sound for the verse and the chorus. Press and hold again. And now you can cycle back and forth between those two different sounds really easy. It's that simple. Yeah, if you've customized your preset and you wanted to make it your own, using the tweak functions here, it's so easy to save. Press and hold the preset button, and it's stored for the next time you want to load it. There's a really cool feature of Create XT that's borrowed from its big brother, Voice Live 2, that allows you to control these three effects blocks in performance using the optional Switch 3 foot switch. It just basically connects to the pedal input right there and uh, allows you to tailor your sound in live performance.